Hello guys, and welcome to yet another video in the tutorial series about autopilot systems. Today's video is a bit special, it is not directly related to the autopilot system, but it has to do with visualization and debugging of our MATLAB scripts. So far, we were relying on offline plots to visualize and debug out autopilot system. We plotted variables such as pitch and airspeed after we closed the running script. This was indeed sufficient but nonetheless it could be improved. A better visualization and debugging system would be to have a real-time plot. Which means that the plots are generated while the script is running and updated accordingly. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about some throwbacks that offline plotting has. The fact that we have to pause the running scripts before plotting, generated some artifacts. Some of the data was discarded while interpreting the plots. The new visualization system will have one major requirement. It has to be fast so it does not affect the overall performance of the script. To achieve this, we need not to update the whole plot each time, but update only the curve itself which, in MATLAB, is called a line object. First thing is to create a figure, which can be a graphic one, or user interface one. Both cases, are coded here with the graphic figure case commented out. Next, we will create the axis for each plot, since we will be plotting pitch and airspeed, we will have two plots and this will create two axes. User interface axes are created using the function uxes. This function accepts multiple arguments, including the parent object, which is in this case the figure handle. The arguments include also the position of the figure which actually includes its size. While graphic axes are created, simply, using the function GCA which stands for get current axis in this case second axis is created by copying the first one using the function copy of J. Then a handle is created for each plot, by assigning the results of the function plot to the corresponding variable. The variables m and n controls how our program updates the plots, with n being the number of samples shown at a given time, and m represents the period at which the plots are updated, thus we can control and quantify how much we are close to real time. Inside the program loop, we will update only the curve, we will do so by referencing the adata attribute of the line's handles. This can also be done using the set function but this will be slightly slower. Drawna updates the plots. If we were to use the function plot at each iteration, this will take a lot of time, and affect the program performance. We have used the mod function to control at which iterations the updates occur. The other condition is that we have more than n samples. We have also introduced a bunch of sliders, so we can update, while the script is running, values of desired pitch, desired speed, and controller parameters. <laughs> 